Thanks for checking out my Teachable tutorial for beginners. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a course with Teachable, get up and running as quickly as possible. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description to get easier access, or maybe you just want to try out Teachable, you can do that. I'm also going to be using the free plan just to make sure that regardless of where you are with Teachable, you can always follow along with me. So with that being said, let's get started right away. Once you have your own school, what you want to do is create a course within it. I'm going to be on the left side right here and I'm going to be clicking on create course right in the middle. All right, so here what you want to do is give your course a title. As an example, I'm just going to be using this marketing island multiplier. We have a description here, how to multiply your traffic leads and sales by leveraging social media traffic. Make sure you plug that in and when you're done, click on the continue button at the bottom. All right, so we have a thumbnail image. I went to chat GPT and got one very quickly. If you don't have one, you can do this now. You can always add it later. I'm gonna very quickly upload my own. This is the recommended sizes as well. Probably should have looked at that beforehand, but nevertheless, here's an image and where it would go. All right, so there's the image and I wanna click on upload. Give it a moment and that looks fine. We can always remove or replace. Remember, if you don't have one, just skip that and you can do it after. Let's click on continue. All right, set a price. So we have a one-time purchase. There's a payment plan, subscription, you can do free. If you don't know yet, take a guess. You know, in the beginning, given the fact it's a course, it's most likely gonna be a one-time purchase. Of course, it can be a subscription, but I'm gonna go with one-time purchase here and click on continue. All right, so let's go through the sections. If you are in the United States like I am, hello from Florida, make sure you do USD. If you are somewhere else, pick the appropriate section. Here's just gonna be $97 as an example. Then we have our pricing plan name. As it says, it for an example, this month's special, early bird sale, family and friend, et cetera, maybe a special discount, whatever it's going to be. If it is some type of special, put that in, okay? For this, I just put a marketing island special pricing. Then we have a subtitle, which is optional. So if I use this, it could say something like, only for my subscribers of my channel, here is a special price for you. Something along the lines of that. If you don't want to, it's going to be optional. You don't have to. Now, if you have a pricing plan description, it says describe to your customers what they should know about this price. You know, normally it's going to be double, but since you're a subscriber, it's only going to be 97. So if you need a little bit more description, like there's a subtitle and then there's a description, it's almost like this is the headline a little bit more and then a little bit more if you need it. So feel free to do that if needed. You can limit enrollment by cap or expiration date and time. You can limit product access duration. So if this is for say a launch or like seven days only, something along the lines of that, you can do that. You can also increase your conversions by 30% with buy now, pay later. If you wanna do that, simply do this. It says sales made with this though are subject to additional processing fees of about 7% plus 30 cents for US sales and international sales. While it is gonna be taking a percentage of that, sometimes it's gonna be best to either at least just include that because maybe someone wants to utilize that. Maybe you just don't want someone paying later. You just want them to buy now. You can turn it off. That's up to you. Okay. Let's click on continue and go to the next step. All right. So there's going to be two ways of doing this. We can generate with AI or we can start from scratch. However, you know your course the best. I would recommend doing this from scratch because it's going to be pretty straightforward and simple to do. I will give you some recommendations. So if you want to go with AI, I have noticed just testing it myself that you're going to get a lot of lessons and sections that are just not going to match the content you want to be creating inside of your course, if that makes sense, right? So if I'm talking about multiplying your traffic leads and leveraging social media traffic, they could be talking about Pinterest in this, but I don't have Pinterest in my course. You know what I mean? You know your course, so I'd recommend going with start from scratch. Maybe I'll do a separate quick tutorial just to kind of showcase what this looks like, but with this tutorial, I'm gonna do this and show you how it works. Let's now click on finish. All right, so here we are. I like Teachable here in that it's very straightforward when it comes to creating your curriculum. So we have a new section right here. If I click off there, this is gonna be the section and underneath each section, it's going to be a lesson. So think of the sections kind of like chapters. Usually whenever say you create a course, there's might be like an introduction. So I'm gonna do this as an intro. All right, so we have introduction. I'm gonna click on save. So underneath the intro, what type of lessons or videos might you have there? There could be a welcome video, like thank you for purchasing. You might have a what to expect. You might have testimonials. You might have results to get people amped up to wanna to learn more about it. So you now know how to create sections. You just simply click right here and now you have a new section. Pretty straightforward, right? If you want another one, you click here. That's how you can create sections. So these are gonna be the chapters. And within these chapters, now we wanna have our lessons. As I talked about before, let's click on new lesson and let's do a new lesson. For example, we could say, welcome, all right? You know, where it's face to face, you say, thank you to your customers for picking up the course. Another one, a new lesson after that could be, all right, we have what to expect. Let's do one more new lesson. 
And we could do something like amazing results. So if you're in internet marketing, here are some of the results I've experienced or someone else has experienced. If maybe you're into you know weight loss or fitness, here are some of the great transformations my clients have done going through this same process. Just something to get people excited about continuing on. If at any time you want to move these around, you can certainly do that. Just simply click on this, drag and drop, you are good to go. Okay, so you know how to add sections, right? So this would be section two. Let's just say this is going to be called... Step one, and I said I'd give you some tips on your curriculum. What I like doing when it comes to creating courses, bear with me for one second, I'm not gonna be doing as much tutorial as opposed to tips, I hope you enjoy it, is go through your course, and when they're starting off on say point one or point A, how do we get them all the way to B if B is the result? What you wanna do is break it down into steps. As an example, let's say we were looking to get organic traffic on YouTube since we're watching it there, right? So first step, you wanna create a channel, of course, like find a niche, create a channel. Okay, that's gonna be step one. What's step number two? Maybe we're gonna be doing keyword research. You know, you gotta figure out what you wanna create videos about. Step three is going to be creating and editing, right? Step four is gonna be uploading. Maybe it's doing the description. Maybe it's gonna be doing the thumbnail. And then after that, you're gonna be repeating the process. So if you'll notice, we had four main steps. And when you repeat those, that's how it's gonna help you get the results that you want. Your course can be the exact same way. And I believe, very firm believer, I've created courses for over a decade now. If you create them in this way, it's gonna make your customers so much easier or likely to go through them because they understand that there's four big steps that they need to take. And within those, there's gonna be a few lessons that they need to know as well. So that's kind of my opinion on that and a big reason why I wouldn't recommend using AI to create your curriculum. Plus, you know your course the best. So now that you know all that, that's my little tip when it comes to creating your curriculum. I hope it helps. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually edit each of these lessons, okay? All right, because you know how to add the lessons to each of those. You know how to add the sections. Let's show you how to edit it. So what we wanna do is click on the specific lesson. Let's do welcome. And I'm just gonna show you how to do one of these because it's gonna be the same exact for every other one. All you just simply need to do is obviously add videos or maybe it's gonna be text, but let's just say there's gonna be a video here. What we wanna do is click on the video button. Okay, and we can embed to if needed, but I'm just gonna upload it. So I'm gonna click right here and find a video that I have on my desktop. All right, so the video is called hello.mp4. It's gonna be very quick uploading it, but it's just gonna take maybe a minute or two depending on how big the file is for it to kind of render and be done with that. So what I'm gonna do when it is done, process, that's the word I was looking for. Actually, while that's going, what we can do is maybe upload a thumbnail. So probably wanna add a thumbnail to it. If you want to, you click right here. And now we can upload another file from desktop. All right, there's a picture of me. Let's click on upload. Great, that's obviously gonna be done very quickly. So while this is processing, I can talk a little bit more about the other sections. So if we wanna add any other content, text is also gonna be another really big one. Let's click on it. Here is where you enter all of your text. Okay, there's gonna be a few other things you can do, bullet points, you know, you know it's gonna be like, thank you. You will learn about so on and so forth, you know, X, Y, Z. I'm just kind of adding things here, adding things here. Sometimes it's hard to type and talk and think at the same time, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Pretty self-explanatory, there's pictures here. I'm sure you've used the text block before. I'm not gonna really dive deep into that. Links if you need them, okay? I'm gonna click save there. And also something else to keep in mind that you can drag and drop the sections here. Same thing when moving around the lesson. You just click on these uh, six dots right here. Okay, and drag and drop, but I'm gonna keep the video up on top, okay? Anything else you wanna add, click on add content. There's a few other things you can do, PDF viewers, resource, banner images, audio, code examples, uh, embed medias, and a few others at the bottom. So, so simply just clicking on it, adding it, editing it, straightforward, right? If you want student comments, you can do that. There's also gonna be a public preview, which it states right here. Make the lesson viewable by anyone. Give potential students a glimpse of your content. So this is good if you have a video that you want a lot of people to see, like results would be a perfect one. If you've had testimonials, if other people have had success with what you teach, that would be a great idea to maybe turn that on. However, something that you don't want someone seeing or a lot of people seeing could be some of the biggest aspects of your course. So I would definitely not recommend putting this on very often. It's usually kind of like when you go to the supermarket and they give you a strawberry, like, hey, do you want to buy more? Sure, you can get the entire thing or a piece of cheese, right? Just give them a little taste of one of your videos. And then if they like it, it can increase the chances that they're going to purchase. So do this to maybe one or two, depending on how big your course is, but make sure this is not always on for all of them. Otherwise they get a free course and I'm sure you don't want to do that. 
All right, so this video is gonna still be processing, which is fine. Uh, what we can do is publish it here, or what you can do is actually go back and publish all of them. So you don't have to necessarily do it now. In fact, let's go back to the curriculum, which is gonna be on the left side. All right, and so an easy way to kind of publish everything is going to be under quick actions, and you can just do publish all for that section. Now we don't actually have a lesson here, I'm gonna do that, and we'll just do niche selection there. And let's just say this is gonna go above it. Once again, you just go to quick actions, you can do publish all. Now of course, make sure you actually go in there and edit each of the sections. I'm not gonna do that for each and every one. Just by editing one, you're gonna know how to edit pretty much all of them, okay? So you would do the same thing with your sections, lessons, and so on and so forth. Now here's the cool thing, we're pretty close to being done. Assuming you have your course, you've uploaded everything, whether it's gonna be text, downloads, videos, let's go to the design templates, which is right under, right here. All right, so this is where you can go about changing your template and pretty much how it looks. As you can see, these are gonna be the two main ones here. So when they actually click on your course, it's gonna be most of the activity is gonna be on the left and you have that top banner here. And this one right here, Colossal is gonna have kind of like the image right there and that underneath. Really depends on which one you like. I think they both look great. If you wanna preview it, you can click right there and do that. If you wanna activate it, you can go ahead and do that. There's also gonna be another section where you can actually change around what it looks like as it shows right here, site and theme. So I'm gonna keep it like that. So what we wanna do is hover over this, which is site, click on it, and then we wanna to go to themes. Okay, so this is where the logo and branding can come in. As you can see, I already have Marketing Island there. There's gonna be a school thumbnail, a favicon, which is gonna be this little itty bitty logo up there for the favicon, okay? Uh, teachable branding, we have font family. Now we have the color palette. So really depending on what you wanna use here, I believe this is Teachable's default one, and we can always preview it too. So let's do that right now and take a look at what it looks like. All right, it doesn't look too bad, but the thing about it you might notice, or maybe you don't notice, is that it doesn't showcase the marketing island just because the font is actually gonna be black. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm just gonna change it based upon what the headline and like the uh, the color is gonna be. I could technically just change that, but something that's different could be something like this. And I'm just gonna do save, and I'm gonna do preview. Perfect, so now you can actually see it. It does have kind of a tropical vibe, so I am gonna go with that. So that is how you can change the actual look of it in terms of the color schemes, and if you really wanna customize it, you can click on there and change those around as well, just like that. I'm gonna keep it as it is, because I think it looks fine. All right, so now what I wanna do is go back to the courses section right here, and this is something you're gonna to have to do as well. Not only are you publishing these sections and the lessons as I showed you how to do, but you actually have to publish the entire course. As you can see right here, it is gonna be unpublished, so let's click on more options right here and publish course. Perfect, now it is actually good to go. So we have the pricing, we have the course, we have the contents in it, which I skipped ahead most of it because that's gonna be on you, right? Now there is something else that you're gonna wanna edit around or at least change, which is gonna be the sales page. All right, so what we wanna do under courses, let's click on the actual course right here, the name of it. All right, now you're gonna see that we're in the setup guide. What we wanna do is actually scroll down, and if you look, there's gonna be pricing your course, which we did, customizing it, we have our preview. Uh, this is also something that's gonna be important too, so we have set up your purchase journey, so it's gonna be on a sales page, or you can do an external website. Choose a sales page, I'm gonna show you how to edit that. And here's gonna be the important one, where are customers taken after the purchase? Let's go straight to the enrolled course curriculum. So that means once they actually purchase, they're gonna get taken exactly where they need to go, which is gonna to be the course let's save that all right now the last thing what I want to do is go to sales pages so on the same page click on the left right here for sales pages all right so there's actually going to be a checkout page we'll check that out after uh, well there's a thank you page if you need them to take it to that but once again once they are purchased they're going to go straight to the course let's go to the sales page right here I'm just going to show you how it works but most importantly how to link it to your actual checkout page so let's click on edit all right, so a lot of this is just gonna be templated and that's a pretty good thing. So anytime you wanna edit something, simply click on it. You're gonna have your background image right here. Simply upload it to replace that. Here's gonna be the example banner text. You sim simply just look at it and line it up. What am I gonna be editing? That's where it's gonna go. So for this could be the best course ever, something like that, okay? This would be this section right here. And as you can see, set a button action. What we wanna do here is go to checkout page, okay? And what we can do, pricing plan 97, perfect. And we can set a button action, you know, click here, as you can see already, click here to buy now. I think that's gonna be perfect. So that one we changed around, we can do update. 
Okay, if we go to design over here, once again, this is if you wanna change anything in terms of like the padding, the content color, and so on and so forth. But if we go back, you're gonna see these are all the main sections. What you can also do, similar to say the curriculum, if you wanted to move this up, you can put the image with text above it. I'm not saying it makes sense, but that's a very easy way for you to do that. A lot of this is going to be plug and play, something that relates to your course, maybe a picture of you, a big something, a headline that stands out, okay, example text. This is going to be, um, once again, a grid. This is gonna be the curriculum that we created very quickly. Uh, this, we can actually click on this right here and delete this. Let's just say it's not gonna be closed, right? We wanna sell it. And everything else is just gonna be very similar to just like, you know, plug and play, change it around, and let's do update. All right, this is just a preview, but once again, click here to buy now. Everything else you can change around. All right, and so here is the checkout page. I just have my uh, access email in there, so I have a notepad above it, but this is gonna be what they'd be ordering. This is the price, and as you scroll down, they can do PayPal, they can do payment method, and of course, address. And that's how they're going to be able to purchase it using the checkout page. Now, I actually forgot to go back and show you what the curriculum's gonna look like, and now that we've changed kind of the uh, template of it, allow me to do that, and that's pretty much gonna conclude this tutorial. All right, so here I am back in the curriculum on the left side right here. I'm just gonna click on preview. All right, so there we go. This is gonna be the lesson. Let's say we wanna start by clicking right here. It's gonna automatically take you to that first one that we did. And remember, I didn't put anything else in there. Uh, this is gonna be where they can play it. Hey, what's going on? It's James. Okay, I'm not gonna have myself talk over myself, but when they are done, they can click on complete and continue. And depending on what you put there, obviously they can uh, have access to that. There is gonna be a section that you can turn on if you wanna have someone download a video. That is a, another thing you can do. I just wanna let you know that you may or may not, because obviously if people are able to download your videos, there are higher chances that they can just kind of spread them around online. And you might not wanna do that, especially if you're selling a valuable course, just something to keep in mind. But nevertheless, that's gonna conclude this Teachable tutorial that's gonna show you how to get up and running when it comes to selling your course on Teachable. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. Of course, if you haven't gotten to test out Teachable, I will leave my link down below in the description where you can get much quicker access, start creating a course, and even just follow along in my footsteps in this tutorial. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.